Welcome to the Casual Cast. Episodes every Sunday on YouTube, iTunes, and SoundCloud. And now, your host, Casual Savage. Hello and welcome back to the Casual Cast, a podcast which you can be a part of. If you would like to be a part of this podcast, simply contact me via social media and tell me a topic. Today, I'm going to be discussing the best games being released in 2018. Now, before I tell you my opinion on the best game releases this year, I want you to comment below what game you are looking forward to this year. So I've done some research and in my opinion, I found four games in particular which are going to be the best ones to look forward to. Now the first one, which has been teased for such a long time, Red Dead Redemption 2. So this is being released on the 26th of October, and of course this is a follow-up from the first Red Dead Redemption, which was released back in 2010. Now of course, the first Red Dead Redemption was available only on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. The new one is going to be available, of course, on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Something to note about this game as well, it's actually been delayed twice. I believe they said spring 2018 at first, then they said the 23rd of October, and now they've pushed it to, of course, the 26th. But if you haven't seen the trailer yet, I highly recommend you do check it out. And the trailer actually shows uh, a few things which you don't really see in the first Red Dead. Now, bear in mind it has been 80 years, so we uh, should expect a lot of improvements in terms of literally everything, because now they have the newer consoles which have more power. So what we saw in the trailer was moving trains. It might not sound like a good thing, it might not sound like a big thing, but moving trains. Um, We also get more intense gunfights and it's a bit of a, uh, what do you say, cattle rustling? and um, basically some movement going on in the cattle, if you know what I mean. But you see that in the trailer, and you also see the amazing graphics being shown off. Now, not long ago, a map of the game was also leaked, and then quickly taken down from the person who leaked it. However, of course, everyone's going to get a hold of it on the internet. But what the map showed, it showed great plains, loads of water, and it also showed multiple caravan camps. Now once again, it will be set in a western themed action adventure game and it's also going to be an open world environment. And the next game is Far Cry 5 which is going to be released very soon next month on the 27th of March. Now of course this game being a follow up from the previous Far Cry which was Far Cry 4 and that was released back in 2014. So they spent four years on this game, so I'm pretty sure you should have high expectations if you're a fan or if you wasn't a fan of the game already. So the game is based in Montana in the US. Now so far what I know is there are going to be armoured cars, there's going to be weapon mounted planes, and then also it's going to be a sinister threat such as religious extremists. Joseph Seed and his flock of siblings lead the Doomsday Cult. One thing that's new, you now have an NPC companion to aid you in combat, and they are equipped with own skill sets and perks such as Bound Bomber Nick Rye, the Sniper Pro Grace, and a dog called Boom. And the dog is actually going to be pretty useful because it will help track enemies and fetch items. Now one more thing I'm sure a lot of people will be happy about, there's going to be no more radio towers. So that means no more climbing up radio towers to get your bearings. From now on, you're just going to have to explore. Now this next game, to be honest, I never heard of this game before. Now it's not a new title, they have made games in the past, but from looking at the game, this looks amazing. Now this game is known as God of War. Now, it is number four, but I believe they have just called it God of War. And this is going to be released, again, not too far away. Now, this is two months away. It's going to be released on the 20th of April. And I also want to mention this is only exclusive to PS4. So, once again, this is a follow-up from the previous God of War, God of War 3, which was released back in 2010. So, again, a very long time, eight-year gap. From the last one so you should be able to expect a huge improvement in all rounds of the game 
But for those that don't know what God of War is, it is a third person action adventure video game and it is developed by Santa Monica Studios. Now all the previous God of Wars were based on a Greek mythology, but this God of War 4 is taking a new direction for the series as it's now going to be based on Norse mythology. Now they've added some new features which I believe is only available on single player, the third person over the shoulder free camera, a departure from the previous installments which featured a third person fixed cinematic camera, and the reason they had the fixed cinematic camera in the past was simply just to show off the graphics. Now that was back in 2010, uh, back on PS3, they didn't have the best, or they did have good graphic graphics back then, but of course now they have a lot more power, uh, it's more of a free moving camera. Now the final game I'm going to be telling you about, this is probably the one I'm most excited for, and the reason for this is because it, this game has never been released, there's no part 1, part 2, this is a brand new game and it's known as Vampire. This is going to be released on the 5th of June 2018. So this game was made by the same people who created Life is Strange and that was a huge success. The game is set in early 1918 in London and you play as a doctor who discovered his vampirism after being bitten by a patient. Now this patient apparently had a Spanish flu. Now it's important to note that your character is a good guy who wants the help, but you have to remember as a vampire, a vampire needs blood and there's only one way to get blood, simply taking innocent lives. Now it's also important to note that blood in the game counts as your health, so there won't be no medical packs uh, like these usual games, you will need blood to, in order to regain health. In addition to this, you'll be able to craft a variety of tools, you have the ability to melee attack, use weapons, and you can also craft special ammunition to take advantage of enemy weaknesses. Now throughout the game, you'll also be fighting other vampires and there will be uh, somewhat vampire bosses. Now it's also important to note if you use the uh, vampire powers during combat, the character's blood blah also drains. So this one definitely sounds like a very challenging game, you have to be aware of your blood at all times, and there is also a way to complete the game without killing anyone, and it's said if you do complete the game by killing no one, one of four different endings will be available. So any competitive gamers out there, this one is definitely for you. But that is it for this episode, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and like I mentioned at the start, if you would like to be on this podcast, simply contact me via social media and tell me a topic. But that's it for this podcast, and I'll be back next week.